Good evening and welcome. This is nutritional pharmacist Melissa Galladay. I am a registered pharmacist with a passion for nutrition. Really happy to be here with you this evening. And today's topic is going to be bone health and also bone breaks, if you will. So what we can do if we are recovering from a bone break. We love to hear from you. If you like this video, if it can be of service to anyone, please share it with any of your friends and family. If you don't like this video, let us know. And anytime you're listening to this video, wherever you are in the world, please comment below city, state, and country. We love to know where we're reaching people from. And if you have any questions or any follow-up clarifications, please post the questions below and I'll be happy to get back to you and assist you with whatever is going on with you biochemically. I want you to know that you can master your own biochemistry and that's why I do what I do. I love what I do and I'm here to teach you that health is very simple. It's uh, the choices we make on a daily basis. So we're gonna go ahead and jump right into bone health and bone breaks. And so the bone is very amazing throughout our body. It's the best way to describe it biochemically is it's a buffer. So it's an intense matrix filled with lots of minerals, phosphorus, magnesium, calcium, very, very dense, and at the same time also really light and strong. So it's a matrix that is loaded with these minerals. And if we are not eating correctly, which most of us don't in this day and age, our body will actually leach minerals from the bone to assist it in repairing and regenerating and maintaining the blood chemistry that it needs to maintain. So one of the most damaging things we can do out there to make our bones more porous is actually drink soda. Soda pop, uh, soda pop, aka pop, Coca-Cola, Pepsi, Mountain Dew, etc. They actually leach phosphorus from our bones and cause our bones immediately to become a lot more fragile. So if you are sitting there facing osteopenia, I would encourage you to stop drinking soda. That's something you can do right away and it'll help your, your bones rebuild and regenerate. So let's say just through normal um, life you did have a bone break and what you can do to assist with bone mending. And if we look at Chinese medicine, and you know, I've been lucky enough to study a little bit of that in my journey, 15 years as a pharmacist, and also, you know, of course, the biochemistry that I've been blessed to study. One of the first things we can do is definitely we want to immobilize it and we want to get it in the hands of somebody who knows how to set a bone. So let's say, for example, you know you've injured yourself and you have a bone break, you want to ice it, you want to take Arnica, you want to take Arnica orally, and you also want to apply Arnica topically to that area. Now, um, if it's open, of course, if it's an open skin lesion, that's, you know, break, it's a little bit challenging, but Arnica orally is still very important. So now you know you've broken the bone, what can you do to expedite the healing? You want initially in a in any injury, you really want to take it easy initially. You want to assist that healing. So a lot of times people will continue to go to work or do things like that when really they should be resting as much as possible initially because it's going to reduce that inflammation and it's going to expedite the healing time and that's what you want to do. So what can you do biochemically? Well you can eat what is known as bone soup and the reason bone soup is so amazing is bones, of course, they're made of bones. And so the same nutrients that make up animals' bones also make up our bones. And also the collagen, the cartilage is made up of collagen and as that melts into a bone soup, that broth is gonna help re-knit the bones. It's very important if you, if you are not um, against eating animal products, I would highly recommend a bone soup which would help knit the bones. And for example, let's say you are a vegan and you cannot eat bone soup. I'm sure that question will come up. Uh, what I want you to think about then is making sure you're getting a good plant-based protein. You're not gonna be able to get the cartilage because clearly um, that's pretty hard to find. But there is a great secondary and I would advise doing uh, blue-green algae. There's a lot of fats in there and there is a little bit of um, 
collagen in a way it's like a precursor and that it's very viscous if we if any of you have experienced with blue green algae so mucosal that's gonna help in a you know if you were a vegan that might be a way to at least assist in the bone knitting a high quality protein and again babying it you really want to baby it and then as it heal once it's healed you definitely want to get back on a gentle exercise program but one of the things we'll see happen a lot is people will break a bone and then they'll they'll get too quick on trying to do things and they can easily you got to think about it it's a brand new knit if you will the, a brand new stitch in the bone and putting too much pressure or wearing it down can eat it could eat it could instantly re-injure it so we do want to be careful and when we're healing again and, and another thing too people will think well I only ice within the first 72 hours that's not accurate you can ice for months after an injury and you're still helping it uh, you always want to do 10 minutes of ice 10 minutes of heat and then you always want to end with ice and professional athletes will do that they'll do the ice and then they'll do the heat because the ice pushes the blood out and then the heat pulls the blood back in and that's like washing it so think about it the nutrients are getting delivered the oxygen and then you're pulling you know when you ice you're pushing it out and so it's a nice wash for whatever you're trying to healing heal that would be sprains breaks whatever whatever you have going on so that's a brief overview on how to heal bones and expedite healing of bones if any of you have experience on broken bones you'd like to share we definitely love hearing stories and that helps the community as people are watching these videos and learning about your experience that you've had about a, a bone you may have broken and what you've done to expedite the healing or maybe re-injured yourself. So really happy you could join us today and, and this evening. And we'll I'll be back Thursday, 6 p.m. Pacific time. And I look forward to seeing you then. All right. Take care.